Bent over barbell rows. All right, so it's a rowing motion, right? So it means it's for the back. Bent over, right? That describes the position that we're gonna work from. So bent over, rows, bam. All right, bent over barbell rows. These can be done with dumbbells. These can be done with barbells. These can be done with bands, probably. Um, this, this form that I'm about to go over also applies pretty much exactly the same way to a seated cable row as well. So it can be done in numerous ways, but once we can get this down with a, with a barbell, we can apply it to a lot of different variations. So uh, it's a rowing motion, so we know it's for the back, right? Well, that means that we want our shoulders and our shoulder blades to retract back and down. Right, so we're gonna keep the shoulders depressed away from the ears, and we're also gonna retract the shoulder blades back. Right, big chest, pull the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, so there's a couple different variations on how to do this, right? Depending on where you pull it in relation to your torso, you could work the upper back, the rear shoulders. If you pull it a little bit lower, you're gonna, you're gonna keep your elbows a little bit tighter to the body. You're gonna be working your lats a little bit more. Right, so let's go over, first we'll go over the lat variation. Right, so the lat variation is gonna be an overhand grip on the bar, right, just outside of the hip, kind of a similar grip to what you would take maybe for a Romanian deadlift, or a similar grip that you would take for an overhead press. Okay, so from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the hips back, right, this is kind of a common theme, right, load the hips, we're gonna hinge the torso forward, and you're gonna come to that bottom position of, of where you would be at the bottom of a Rom Romanian deadlift, and you're gonna hold there, and that's your working position. Okay, so spine is flat, neck, or, or spine is neutral, even up here, right? And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, if we wanna hit the lats, we wanna draw the elbow alongside the rib cage, we wanna draw the, the barbell to the belly button, and we're gonna work on squeezing those shoulder blades back and down and, and trying to arch through our thoracic spine, okay? So it's not enough to just get here and pull the weight to us like this, right? And leave our shoulders forward and rounded, Right? You'll notice there's not a whole lot going on through those, through those shoulder blades, through those back muscles. Right? This is not enough here to really work the back muscles optimally. Right? So what we want to see is we want to see, again, thoracic extension. Right? So in the spine we have flexion or we have extension. Right? If you stay flexed and you pull, you're not working your back muscles as much as you possibly could be. All right? We want to work on extending the spine. So picture that area around your shoulder blades we're gonna, we're gonna try to, we're not gonna flex it forward. I guess I'll do it this way. We're not gonna flex it forward. We're gonna try to extend it back. So be really tall, puff your chest out, and that's gonna make sure you're, you're, you're using the most of your back muscles that you can. All right, so find your setup. What we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna row towards the belly button, and we're gonna work on arching or extending that thoracic spine. All right, a big chest, elbows behind you, elbows stay tight, squeezing those shoulder blades, keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears, okay? So there's a difference between this and this. Okay, thoracic extension, neutral spine, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep your abs tight, and eat your vegetables. <laughs>